Hello there everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2, I'm your host Mr. Mokalero And right now we're actually at war with a few African nations because Well we can be And on this channel we love Africa We really love Africa So that's why we want to make them all a part of us So we have the that here too, so cool Oh I guess uh, these guys are fighting these guys down here too But we have a couple comments to go through And really the game plan from for here on out So ooh, Battle of Charlotte, I guess we just got some rebels down here huh? Ah, that's right, we're going to keep building up a bigger and bigger military. But last time we did take, I guess technically it was Texas, as well as West Virginia, which has 120,000 people, as well as Maryland, which has uh, maybe a little bit less than 300,000 people. And I guess that includes Delaware, too. I guess Delaware is in its own state, which makes sense, I guess, because it's so small, but that's why you have Massachusetts owning Providence, huh? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense either, but that's okay. That's all right. Get rid of them gosh darn rebels. Not very good to have around here. And we'll have those two done, and then boom, boom, we'll be good there. And we'll finish off Africa too. Um, actually, before we get too far, I was looking at the culture map mode. And now we have Bulgarian South Dakota. Look at that. 14%, almost 15% of the population is Bulgarian, and that's the max amount. Look at look at the craziness that's happening here. Absolutely nuts up here. Oh, wait, we have... Are these? Wow. Okay. They must have been really demoted here. We've got some South Italians. Alright, they're working on a lot of coal stuff down here. No, Not a lot of assimilations going on right now. I think maybe next up, Tartars, Aromanians, Bulgarians, Tartars, Spanish and Catalans. Yeah, I think we could probably really use a lot more um, assimilation here. But, we're doing quite well, I'd say. We have a lot of Ukrainians in Oregon. we got Texans in California. As Texas is turning more and more Dixie, which is great. New Mexico is majority Dixie, it looks like. And, yeah, the Americans are, well, they're still American. Tennessee is looking even better. Parts of Kentucky are getting even better as well. Wisconsin, even Michigan is turning Dixie, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And look at that. Parts of Nicaragua as well are turning Dixie. As that just warms your heart, doesn't it? I know it does. But let's finish off this war pretty quickly. Because, well, we don't want to be in war for too long because we have plans. So, oh. Oh, I guess we're going to go to war with Benin as well. Nope. Okay, well, I wasn't remembering to do that, but okay, we'll go to war with them as well. So, in this episode, I want to kind of go back and forth between two nations. I want to go beat up America, and then we'll beat up the Mexicans. And then we'll beat up America again, because we can. That's my goal for this camp, for not this campaign, but for the episode. Just so we can start getting our cores back and stuff like that, too. Oh, and you know what? Since if somebody pops, get an infantry and get an artillery. Great. Because now we need to go to war with Benin, which is right here. Cool. And you guys can do... Uh, I guess you can probably converge on there. Oh, yeah, that's fine. White piece is very nice to have. We're the third most prestigious country in the world. And 14th in the world for industrial power, which is not very good, but whatever. Uh, dudes in Walden factories? Factories dot the landscape where once there used to be plantations and farms that ran on the blood and sweat of slaves. As slavery is becoming more unprofitable, we can find better use for slaves in these factories. Hey, the first thing of industrial slaves for us. Very nice. And now we can go to war with Benin as well. And they're allied with Dahomey. That's over here, right? Uh, Dahomey's uh, somewhere around here. Dahomey's right there. Ah, well, she, we should do okay, right? Probably not too scared of these guys, so. And also, we, I wanted to get these guys just because we wanted to restart a certain trade here. So, it is what it is. Oh, wow. Actually, we're losing quite badly. Actually, what was the dice roll there? What the heck? I guess we could use more infantry. Yeah, we actually we lost a lot of guys. We actually lost quite a few guys. That's not good. Oh, well. Apatuators, darn them. Gosh, gosh darn them. We're actually spending a lot of our military, too, huh? Go figure. That's alright. We lost one battle, but they do have a lot of guys, so what do you expect? Who's leading this? Oh, no. You're not really good on attack, that's kind of why. But, we got more research points, which is very, very nice. Actually, I might just keep you guys here anyways. Uh, industry, electricity would be very good. Let's grab some clean coal, finally. I think that'd be good. Lots of coal. Lots and lots and lots of coal. There you go. Just combine for now, that's fine. We're gonna need you in here anyways, though. So. And... These ships aren't looking great. We're working on the naval base. It'll get there eventually, so we'll just kind of hang out now. Actually, no. Keep them out for now, because we can help blockade the thing and get this done faster. There you go. Uh, do you guys want to go through my lands? Who are you? Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. Wow. A lot of Jacobin rebels, huh? Well, that kind of sucks. We got 6,000. They do have quite a few guys. I want to wait. Actually, instead of Thomas Jackson leading... Who's good on attack? Two attack, two attack. Attack and defense would be good. Ooh, Lewis far early is not very good. He's an amateur. Uh, Kemper. 
This is actually really important to do. Just to see who you can have. Oh, Ezra sucks as well. Perry Sibley? Pierre Sibley. Oh, while we're at war. Oh, that sucks. Well, whatever. Uh, White Peace and Rebels, whatever. Pasta? Yes. Oh, our guys will probably deal with this pretty easily. Not super worried about it. And we still need another engine. A new, another guy here, huh? Alright, well, hopefully we can build another artillery piece. That'd be pretty good. And are our guys going down? Yes, they are. That's good. And they're demobilizing, which kind of sucks, but that's alright. We need to go to war with Mexico next, too. Wow. Spain is not doing well either. And apparently, yeah, I guess the Czech Republic got free from Austria-Hungary, and now they're just a secondary power, which kind of sucks for them, but oh well. Actually, can we influence you guys too? That'd be not to be too bad. French Algeria is looking kind of thick. Italy is looking okay. They're also considered a great power as well. Oh, America's right behind us. Hopefully not for long. Civilized nation, huh? Not even a secondary nation. They've fallen very hard. Ew. British Abyssinia. And a lot of people have eaten a lot of China, which is fine, whatever. It is what it is. Budget, let's spend a little bit more here now. We want a few more supplies. Colonial procedures, very nice. And people are starting to colonize all parts of Africa. We cannot, though, because Africa got to get breach loaded rifles. And the naval base range is really far away. But our main goal is not to probably to colonize in this campaign, so. You know, it seems like we sort of are right now. Battle of Lexington, huh? Yeah, you guys don't have a lot of morale. Give them another month to get some more morale, maybe. Yeah, that organization sucks. If we were to attack, we might not do well, so let's come up here, too. We'll siege them all down. And then we could probably piece them out. Oh, oh god. French liberation. Nope, I'm not going to go to war with those guys. you crazy if you think I'm going to do that, man. But you want alliance again? No? Okay. Oh, they did they mobilize? Yes, they did. Okay. Italy, would you like an alliance? No? Okay. And we've got that one. Out of Louisville, so be it. Clean coal is nice. Good. And because we're going to go to war with Mexico, let's do another military tech next. Ooh, combustion engine, though. It is 1881, though. Ooh. Airplanes. Airplanes would be so nice. Uh, revolution and counter revolution. That would be really good to do as well, probably. Let's go breach loader rifles next. Because we need colonial negotiations. We do have a lot of Central America, though. That's actually really good. The Panama Canal. Let's get Endel. Pictures showing the Panama Canal Company liquidation court trial in Richmond, the CSA. The Panama Canal scandal was a corruption affair that broke out in the CSA in 1881. Close to a billion francs were lost when the government took bribes to keep quiet about the Panama Canal Company's financial troubles and what is regarded as the largest monetary corruption scandal of the 19th century. Start an official investigation and lowers the chance of bankruptcy. Cover it up. Cancel construction. No, cover it up. We lose a lot of prestige and lose a lot of money from that. What the heck, guys? What the heck? Now we're losing money here, too. What did we pay you for? Oh, hostile occupation. Uh, you guys will do this. Yeah, these guys will be fine. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, people, why are you crazy? Mechanized money? Excellent. They'll probably get that one done first before we can get this one done. It's fine. We're just playing musical chairs. And we'll get this one done before they get that one done. So, and then they'll be done. Hopefully. Hey, look at that. Carlos Spain. Nice. That should give us access to some of their goods, right? Resources? Whoa, 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 how did they get that one done faster than us? Whoa! That doesn't make any sense. Spain? Sure. We can have an alliance. Yeah, we're catching up to them, though. And we got them. There we go. There you go. Cool, not bad. Cool, stay here then, because it's not looking very good for our supplies or stuff like that. Rally point, thank you. And what do we need here? We can do that too. All right, so we need one more engineer. Not too bad. Eat, eat though, huh? You know what? Screw it. Get engineer and infantry, and then get another infantry just in case. I really want to make it kind of bulky. So we're no longer at war, which is fine. Uh, go here. That's fine. We can lower supplies just a little bit more. We can lower construction. Yeah, we're not really spending anything on construction either. Not too bad. And to make sure our guys don't die over there. Send our boys back home. Do we have the port here? Nah, send them back home. Keep those guys where they're at for now. That's fine. And go to Tampa. And time for us to not go to war with America because we have a, a truce with them until 83. So that's going to be a while. Or we can break the truce, but I don't want to do that. Mexico, because it became independent, I think it's okay for us to go to war with them. So 
let's go and get ready for that. La Crisis, Albuquerque. Over here, supply is so bad because no one, no one's building up roads. Urgh. 95 is pretty good right there. Keep one army near there just in case these guys want to attack us. Uh, how are we doing? Do we have any infantry? Or why are you looking not great? Ah, so you come down here. And we will throw on one horse and one engineer. Or, I guess, yeah, one engineer and one horse. Engineer and a horse. Actually, for these guys... Go on, engineer, there you go. There you go, not bad. And before we forget, let's check out this stuff. How are we doing for intellectuals? Georgia! That's good! Georgia's very good. Louisiana, you can do some intellectuals as well. From Georgia. Maryland is getting there. California, how are the bureaucrats doing? You're good? Nice. You're almost done, and you're getting there. Cool. And over here, well, Maryland was working on you. And over here... How's Virginia doing? Not a lot of stuff over there. I might want to start encouraging some capitalists over here. Let's see what about that. Egypt goes bankrupt. That's fine. What is this? They annex Hawaii. All right. Well, all right. Well, whatever. Doesn't make them that much stronger, so that's fine with us. Cool. And get some breech-loaded rifles. That'd be good. Infamy is still going down. Militancy is still going up. Because of the National Rifle Association. Why is the National Rifle Association making us get more and more militancy? Immigration riots? Whatever. Cool, cool, cool. And we do gotta just kill off America eventually. They are eight. They're just right below us. Uh, immigrant deported, so be it. That's fine for now. We're spending a lot on our soldiers, which makes makes people wanna join our nation. More books and comments. Can we make the CSA a, a monarchy? That sounds extremely cursed. That seems terrible to make. Ooh, look at this stuff. Yeah, that's really quick. We can do that one. Um, making the CSA a monarchy sounds very terrible, I'll be honest. But I don't think we can. I mean, if we get like taken over and then someone re released us, then maybe it could be like a dominion. Like, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, start focusing. Someone, someone really recommends the next time we go to war. We will go to war and take Cuba and the Caribbean. We really need to focus on the Caribbean, which is 100% true. So, my bad. I've, I haven't focused on it that much. We will get there. And actually, Spain is... Ooh, maybe I should not have allied Spain then. Whoopsie. We probably need to get Spain. Uh, sure. Sure, North German Federation. Why are you so weak? You're third in the world. These guys are second. These guys are killing each other. Actually, that's a good time for Germany or North German Federation to fight these guys. Gunfight at the, o at the OK Corral. And a 30-second fight in Tombstone, Arizona. Wyatt, Morgan, and Virgil Earp. Uh, all along with Doc Holliday killed Billy Clanton and Tom and Bob McLaurie. Three members of their political rivals, the Cowboys. Peacemaker? Nice. Very nice. Oh, we're making a lot of money now. Okay, now we can do colonial negotiations. I should have done that one a long time ago. And people really want to kill each other over here, but whatever. What else is new? You know, what else is new? People just want to kill each other. Oh, you know what? Screw it. We're going to make this a big ol' army. Um, five and one. Cool. Fine with me. Totally fine with me. Making plenty of money for now. For now. Not always, but for now. Uh, how's the port over here? And let's just... I want to start just to find out Mexico. It's 82. How long would it take for us to... Oh, we're still at truth with them, too. Okay. Okay, if that's the case, then we'll just go to war with America next, then. They're probably not going to be too easy. My bad. I forgot that we fought these guys at the same time, so... So after we de defeat America and take back Cuba, then... We'll go ahead. Actually, I'm going to keep you guys here, probably. Yeah, you guys are leaving, so come on down to El Paso, just in case. Uh, we'll definitely focus on America here. We're going to just ping-pong back and forth, so... Nice. All right, let's get some more military stuff just in case. Uh, combat with that gives you a lot more defense. That is actually extremely good machine gun armaments. I want this one too, but we'll go. We'll get that one next. All right, looking not too bad here. Staunton, Hagerstown, Hagerstown. All right, let's build another one up. Another group, and we'll go with Dixie Guards. One, two. Uh, actually, go Dixie Guards. Two, three. Four and five. And now we're gonna get one engineer. And then four. One, two, 
three, four, five. Nice. Detroit's got a lot of population in the Confederate way. Uh, if you wonder about that, please go ahead. It's basically like the American way we saw earlier. Nice. More jingoism, less consciousness. Not bad. Pretty good. Oh, and there goes our money. That's all right. We should be able to... Be oh, yes, more prestige. Yes, please. What's America doing? Cool, cool, cool. And uh, Africa's killing each other. That's fine. Increased relations. Italy, increased relations as well. Oh, did they peace out? Yeah, I guess they did peace out, huh? Japan's even above us. Oh, now America's above us. Not for long. Just because their industry is really good. Our industry is god awful. You know, I really hate having the Wigs and Party here. Oof. So, not, and. God dang it. We should be able to deal with them fast enough, though. Uh, I hate having all this militancy. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Why does the NRA give us militancy? That literally makes no sense to me. Just because someone's part of, like, a gun club or something? I mean, that makes sense. Temperance League makes sense. Uh, let's see what else do we have over here. Minor building restrictions. If anything, that should give, that does give you some more military for non-accepted. NRA, that just... Why? Seems like an oversight for, from some people or something. Alright, the Ottoman Empire goes bankrupt. Okay. Look the other way. No. Okay. Let them talk. We get more prestige that way. Doesn't mean to do anything, but, you know, let them talk. Oil. Ooh! San Diego. San Diego has oil? Now that's nice. That should give us some good stuff, especially in the future. Alright, not bad. And our total population is 27.4 million. And also, one of the comments from yesterday also included, uh, we should try out the Divergence of Darkness mod. Yes, we will. Someday we will. I'm not sure when. I just play a lot of... Uh, HPM, so a treatise on economics. A rally has been organized in one of our states by members of the Confederate Chartist Club, calling for the extension of the voting privileges to the broader strata of the voting publicum. While common relatively orderly on the surface, a rally, the rally might get out of hand at any time. Police are standing by, ready to intervene, and some among them even seem eager so. Hmm, sure, why not? We get more prestige that way. More literacy, please. More, more literacy. There you go. How's immigration doing between us? They get 2,700, we get almost 6,000. Jesus Christ. Oh, look at that. That's, we really, really, oh, no wonder you got mining size, yeah. But, like, holy crap, no wonder it's insane around here. What's our total pop, like, 47.8% of our population is Dixie. Okay. Uh, I don't want to lose prestige. Nope. Come on, let's get some more machine guns. Mechanized mining, great. Mm, even if we held an election. Oh, oil well. Oil found in Austin. Oh, we can... Oh, oh well, darn, we can abolish slavery. But what if we wanted to reinstate the slave trade? Nice. Combo with is better. Let's grab some deep defense. Flexible counterattacks, nice. Elastic defense. Oh my gosh. Ugh, oh, I hate this part so much. This is part of Vicky 2 I really don't like. Just all, all these uprisings. It's just so annoying to deal with. Like, I know they don't want slavery and stuff, but still. Heck, man. Krakato explodes. Cool. I definitely don't want to go to war when uh, things are continue going, continually going to explode. Could call the Germans in. They're not allied to anybody really serious. Ecuador's Southern Hospitality. Good. Okay, so here we go. At this point, I think we need a, a little bit more assimilation, especially for, like, areas like this. Open our arms to our neighbors. Less assimilation, more population, immigration. We definitely... Oh, actually, that lowers infamy by quite a bit. Pop militancy does go down. For this one, you do get some prestige. You get yeah, immigrant attraction, more pop consciousness. But we need to really lower this militancy and stuff. Southern hospitality, that would be good. So hopefully we can start really assimilating people here much more quickly. And let's see, Dixie is where... 5.1%. Oh, with that simulation, it just ju jumped up to 6.3. Nice. And we're getting very close to the point where we can go back to war with America. Max it out, baby. Max it out. And we're deported. Everyone calm down. And now Dixie is what? 6%. Hopefully it continues to increase. Don't want to lose plurality yet. Yeah, 6.5. Very, very good. We have a few armies here. Not a lot. Honestly, not a lot of armies. Um, we could probably pull some guys down here, though. Let's see, let's get a guard. One, two, three, uh, four, and maybe, well, 
Well, by the time we do this, we'll be at war four, and then uh, five. And then we'll go with one, two, three, four, five. Because this guy is going to go focus on the western side here. And these guys are going to focus on sieging things down, hopefully baiting them into attacking us. You are not bad. Morale really sucks for you. Wilton, that's not too bad either. Wilton Law, not too bad. And then Pettigrew, not too bad, but I really want uh, Bragg. I think it was very good in the war. We still have who here? Uh, let's go for the name. Stonewall Pettigrew, huh? Thomas Bragg. Rand Polk. William Pettigrew. A lot of guys here. Uh, I guess Rand Polk, huh? Rand Hayes. Oh, Pierre Beauregard. That's cool. Um, not seeing too many of this. Nathan Hayes. Ooh, that's not very good. Well, this guy's good enough. I don't see... Uh... Anyone else? So close at out. You guys, Pierre Sibley is pretty good. You are Alfred Wheeler, which is okay on def attack and defense. Yeah, they're pretty good on attack and defense. So, just in case, I don't know if I remember if I just saved or not. Apparently not. But we'll go to war when we can, and almost immediately. Now, 199. But we have 205. We have a bigger military than them, but times are changing. Truce and with Mexico. Okay, so we gotta wait like three days. All right, now we go. Cuba. And we can call our allies to war, which will everyone will accept. Not bad, because they'll throw all of their guys in as, war, as well. So my main goal is to get Cuba, our core. I don't know how long this is going to last. I, mm, Germany is ahead of us. They could end the war a little prematurely. So, Los Altos, Spain, Guatemala, Brazil. We're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and then manually call our allies into the war. And Brazil, because they the Americans have allies that they want to call in as well, probably. Oh, they're not our ally, huh? That sucks. Uh, who else do we have in an ally? Los Altos? It doesn't really matter for those guys. We really need some better allies. Huh. We are allied with... Venezuela? Cool. As well as Peru. Uh, Brazil, Guatemala, those guys. Carlos, Spain. As well as Los Altos. Okay, so cool. So, hopefully we can move on in and they don't really attack us too much. Alright, so they're going to move on in immediately. That's fine with us. That's fine. Can we get up to Pittsburgh, maybe? Can we go up to... Because we just got to keep an eye, because defense is going to be extremely important. Wow, we got a lot of enemies now. But, that's to be expected. Liberation of Cuba. Increase relations, because you can. Alright, not bad. I really hope we don't have to... Uh... Uh, don't go there. Hope we do not have. Oh, they're starting to mobilize. Oh crap! Uh, I have to mobilize ourselves this time. Don't forget these guys too. Don't forget about them. Well, get out of there! Uh, you started to attack. Come on! That's so dumb. We weren't even over here. That's so stupid. That is beyond stupid. I don't even want to do that. Okay, you want to do crap like this? Let's come on. Try it out. Try it out for size, boy. Oh, we get more tech now. That's good. How many Americans do you want to die? You give us our core territory back, you hear? Hey, we got that one done. Nice. Oh, you're over here too. Good. Head on up there. Yep, there it's it. Definitely sieging down things up there. That's not good. Um, do that and head on over here up to Williamsport, maybe? Let's go over here just in case. Well, oh, god dang it. I hate these things so much. Piece of garbage. They've got no strength. Go in. Nice. All right, we got some rebels. Unfortunate. Go to Philadelphia if you can. How little? If they have like no organization, then I'm, they were they were okay attacking. Totally okay. Battle of Wheeling. That was really bad, actually. And they all died. Good. They're sieging down Michigan, but I don't really care. Oh, what the heck is going on over here? Seriously, the natives are restless. A situation has presented itself in one of our colonies, where several prominent Richmond capitalists have controlling issues in local trade. One of their ventures, a small local 
machine shop run by a Confederate specialist, who works on Western industrial standards well into the small hours of the morning. The sounds of the machine shop is preventing anyone and everyone in the immediate vicinity of the shop from getting much sleep at night, and the issues become a symbol for many broader pent-up frustrations with our colonial rule. Uh, let's see, look at that one. How's the war going on for right now? 4%. Not great. Now we're here. You guys kind of hang out. If we get a... What the hell? Like, this is dumb. This is completely stupid. You just throw soldiers in the second before we actually do that. Go in there, too. Come on. Get get to Columbus. We gotta... Screw it. We gotta mobilize. I don't want to have to mobilize every single time we do this, but so be it. Ugh, oh, it's so annoying. Go on, head on over there. You guys will be fine right there. That's so annoying having, having to mobilize. Go up there. Head up there, too. We all. Oh, this is the way it's got to be done. Oh, head on over here, too. Alright, 20 more thousand have died. Not enough. Not enough. I'm going to burn everything they have to the ground at this point. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. Keep getting all these places too. Once that, that group is done, that'll be very, very good. Are you kidding me? Send 13,000 from here too. There you go. Alright. What 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 are you guys doing? Don't Oh my god. You guys are so stupid. Get in there. Alright. How do we Paducah? That makes sense. Yeah, you say def they, the game says, not you guys, but the game says that defense is really strong. That's a lie over here. Go over there. Uh, that's good. Keep killing them. There you go. Get some more digging. Get a lot of digging. Lots and lots of digging. Let's go with more artillery attack and support. That'd be nice. Nice, 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 nice. Guys, can you leave? Just leave. Merchants harassed. If you want to about that, please go ahead. All right, so be it. Alright, let's head you guys up here too. Yeah, screw the the USA, man. You want peace? No, 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 no. You you gotta pay repar oh if they could pay reparations, that'd be really good. Yeah, you're gonna pay reparations, America. Nope, you're not doing that, son. No, don't go that way, you ding dongs. Why would you go that way? That doesn't make any sense. Ecuador, uh, that's fine. Cool. 15,000 more died. As they should. As they definitely should. Get to Philadelphia, burn it. Good. Battle of Washington. Time to go to Baltimore. And anything else? Not yet. Italy, would you like better relations? Propose peace? No, no, no. We're not that crazy yet. Are these guys fighting? Why are they mobilized? Huh. And where is the... Where are these guys? I want more territory. Oh, we get Hawaii. Uh, let's see. Let's take Illinois. Uh, actually, that's, fit, that's a lot of war score. What's not... What does not take a lot of war score? Hawaii would be good. Just because that way we can have some Pacific Holdings. Right? I like Pacific Holdings. That was a mistake by the Americans. We pin them here so we can pin them right there. And how's the west? Wow, look at the rail. The rail lines are just kind of all wonky. Very wonky. Not worried about the debt right now. As every government is. Not worried about the debt. Our increased opinion. Thank you very much. You guys did a very good job. Head on to the center. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Why not? There you go. Yeah, I think they're starting to run out of soldiers. 
Their score is 177, ours is 206. They, I mean, they still have, obviously are, have armies around here and such, but there they go. Head on down there if you can. Yep, now they're getting attacked. Okay, head on down there first. And uh, let's finish this area off first. We have 69,000, very nice. Head on up here if you can. We might lose that army, but whatever. It is what it is. Hey. Hey, just in time to reinforce the last you guys alive. Alright, so what is the peace deal like now? It's 41. They're not going to accept? Well, they're, you're going to accept America, whether you like it or not. Indiana. That would make it look a little better. Idaho. Let's do Idaho. It's only 28 score. We can do that one too. Good. Very good. Alright, another 26,000. Mm, that's a bit too many guys over there for me to really deal with. You guys go over there too. Good, good, good. Head on over here. New mark, and some of these guys look really bad. There you go. Discredited France. Oh, once we're done here, America, you're not going to be able to stand back up for a while. They'll still stand back up because New England is very strong. Like, this is why they can still stand up to us. New England is quite, quite strong. We'll go over here because we're going to send you guys around and go up there. The girl from Joplin? Unfortunate. Portugal. What's going on in Portugal? No. If anything, uh, we could add the war goal against them. Pay reparations. Or acquire place. Oh, look at maybe acquire place in the sun. Hmm. Do we want some sort of colony, maybe? That'd be really cool. Oh, this stuff is all okay. Bombay. What is in Bombay, actually? Wow, you guys. Oh. This is really looking really disgusting. Bombay. Eh, it's not really worth very much. Wow. These guys are getting really taken out. Actually, what if we took a Macau? There's not that many guys either there over there either. Eh, Portugal's kind of boring. Sorry, but there's not really much here. Liberate and Wicked Puppet. Guangdong. Gabu. Eh, nah. Acquire a state for the sub-state. That's nine score to make them a... Okay, why not? Why not? We're running out of money too, which is not very good. Uh, tax rich people, I guess, for now. And get rid of that stuff too. Cool. Alright. This is what America wanted. They wanted basically an endless war, so we're going to give it straight to them. And how's the West? Looking pretty good. Hey, that's what we like to see. Ah, uh, that's not good. We, that's something we don't like to see, but it, it is what it is. Are they going to attack somebody here? No? Okay. New Jersey is going to be ours. Cleveland. Well, we may be surrounded now. If, if they move one of their chess pieces. I'm, I'm looking at all this like a chess piece. Chess board. Now we're in debt. Not good. It doesn't matter at this point. I don't care how much debt we take on. I want to destroy these guys. We gotta fully destroy him. Nice. Costs a little bit extra, but whatever. Wheeling. Let's do it. Lazy natives need to learn to adapt, pretty much. And you guys head on over here. Albany. Colonial discontent. We make no concessions to threats of violence. No, no, no. Oh, what is this? Oh, we can enlist them as soldiers. Oh, uh, nah, we're okay. We did that last time. It's not nothing super important. Nice. Kill them off. Battle of, what is going on in Battle of Joplin? There's not that many guys. They're still trying to make more divisions, I guess. There you go. Nice. Uh, sure, Netherlands. If you want to come through, that's fine. Definitely don't attack there. Jesus Christ. Please do not attack there. Uh, there you go. Can we peace out Portugal yet? We should be able to, right? Well, if they don't want to do that, so be it. We could get Cuba too, but we don't really have a navy to deal with them just yet. 
There you go. Finish off New Jersey. You guys are almost done too. Nice. And they are. There you go. Hey, elections of the Confederate States of America. Very good. Very good. Very good. And let's go ahead down here. The wartime election. We must maintain stability even in a time of war. Who's going to attack there first? Probably you guys. Well, one of you two will hopefully be attacking. Hopefully it's going to be George Hardy. We'll see. Oh, yeah. They're definitely dying. No. Oh, god dang it. I hate that. It just moves immediately like that. Just do that then. Not bad. Send him down over here. Good, good, good. America will not be able to defend itself after this war. Bragging rights plus one. Very nice. No money, but that's okay. And are you good on attack? Yes, you are. You're going to go in first. The war dominates the election. Encourage the jingoists. Nice. What? I, I gave you option to peace out. You chose not to. And let's grab some more health care. You want more of that. Nice. People are really pissed off. They probably really want the war to end. But what's the peace deal like now? What score are we at? 105. They would not accept this. Oh, this is Portugal. Uh, I'm going to get that no matter what. So, what can we do here? They would not accept this. No, no. Uh, Portugal becomes a puppet, huh? They would accept that. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We got the infamy for it, so we're taking Portugal. I don't care how long this lasts. You guys looking pretty darn bad. Looking pretty god-awful. We're going to fight for a country. That's fine. You guys are doing quite well over there. Good. Battle of Newark. Nice. All right. Battle of Columbus. Beautiful. Head on to Detroit. Actually, you know, send you guys all down here first. I'll send you guys up to Detroit. That's fine. And New England. I hope America will not be able to recover from this war for a long, long, long time. Nope. Full siege. And this one's almost done. Is it Bing Bingham? Binghamton. Binghamton. Nice. You guys got him first. Nice. Very good. There you go. And there you go. There you go. Saginaw. Cool. You guys go down there, but you go right there, and then you guys go right there, and then you guys go all the way up to Chicago. Beautiful. I got some tech done. 70% can read. Uh, let's see. X-rays. Population growth. Let's go with X-rays then. Combustion engine would be cool and all, but we don't really need that yet. Let's finish off Ohio here too. Anyone else here done yet? Nope. There's one faith and one faith only, because that's a cool one to do. Hartford. A lot less conservative support now, which is nice. Encourage the jingoists. Argentina, whatever term that is. Cool. And go right there. Man, maybe we won't be able to get it. Hmm. Can we replace it with something else instead? Pay reparations? We can always add that one, because we need reparations from these guys, so. You guys, head on over to here. Because we're almost ready to just demobilize anyways now, so. Once we finish off Indiana and Illinois and stuff like that, then we'll demobilize. Actually, we're almost done. So, actually, at this point, you probably just demobilize anyways. There we go. Try to keep an open mind. Sure, why not? That's fine. I'm not sure where you're supposed to go, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, we lost a lot of the armies over here. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, nope. I don't care how long this lasts. I really don't care how long this lasts. Actually, we should probably care how long this lasts, actually. Just because, uh, probably won't be very good if we need more time. Look at that money now. Oh, so much better. Uh, more time. We need more. I'm trying to say. I cannot think straight. Can I speak correctly? Less time between truces. That's why. Hey, look who won. The wigs. Surprise, surprise. One party state. Cool. There you go. Springfield, nice. Indianapolis, nice. 
Awesome, awesome. Nice. Beautiful. Now, this definitely hurt our military score, but this is going to give us a lot of prestige by the time we're done here. Hopefully, maybe not, but... Full sieging him down. Nope. Actually, is there anything else we can throw in here? If we just get rid of this one and this one, this one. Oh, we can deal with that one off by ourselves. So we have up to 69. We can do up to 31 more score here. So who's worth 31? New England is worth 39. That's not good. Nevada. Utah. We get the Mormons. Illinois. That's 54. Uh, let's see. Wyoming is 16. And Colorado is 15. That's, that's that one. Colorado, Colorado and and Wyoming. Hey, low health care. And then we'll get some more assimilation rate too. So that'll be the next step. All right, you guys come up here too. Hey, the Spanish have arrived. Nice. We love the Spanish here. They're like our cultural brethren. Sure. Whatever we say. So you guys aren't looking too bad. So head on down to Texas. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. Nudge, 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 nudge. Well, I'm not sorry this is taking so long. It's just, I when you go to war, you just got to make sure you do the best possible job. Uh, Albuquerque. No, that, that's Albuquerque. That's good. Albuquerque. El Paso. And Bingo Bongo. Yeah, I've still got a lot of stuff to take out here, but whatever. It's fine. Adventures from Huckleberry Finn, which is one of my favorite books. In 1885, Mark Twain published Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and completely revolutionized American fiction. Up until its publication, American fiction has tended to utilize the form and language of its European predecessors. Mark Twain fired a shot in the name of linguistic independence by beautifully depicting the speech of the American illiterate and disenfranchised. The book was clearly an attempt to show how people of all kinds were worth, worthy of respect due to their actions and not their status. At the time, it caused an uproar because of its unconventional form and its theme was most ignored. Even today, people seem to miss the point. Well, then I'll go to heck. Well, I'm glad, you know, we're a mess here in the, you know, Northern Hemisphere and North America, but, uh, yeah, it's looking a bit crazy here. I'm not sure what else they want. Eh, if we can't get that, so be it. We'll just, just we will kill off Portugal. Uh, anything else here? Oh, yes. We're not quite done with these guys. Boston, siege you down. No, Robert E. Lee. Oh, God, no, please. Please, I'm not sure what he was le even leading, but please. Not Robert E. Lee. Can we set, we gotta erect like 4,000 statues to him. We'll peace out Portugal first by itself then. Oh, okay, boo. All right, I'll just peace you out then. God dang it, Portugal. Actually, first, what's going on down here? Like, Argentina? Can we actually get this? No. Hand Buenos back to Buenos Aires from Argentina. Well, they're not done yet down here. They're actually... Uh, I want to end that. Let's end this one first. We'll come back someday. And I will kill off Portugal. I can promise you that. And I do want to see what happens after we get this. We can probably go, oh, go ahead and justify and uh, let's see, take, take a puppet. I'm not sure if this is going to really be good for us. It's 11, but since we kind of edited the save file to give us less infamy anyways, or more infamy decay, it should be okay. And after this, Providence. Help them out. What else do we have here? Is it Austria Hungary? Yes. Very good. Now we're making some good money. Should pay whatever loan we got so far. And we get caught immediately, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine, whatever. Happens. No. South America is actually doing quite well for us, so. And we also need to get. What was it? Wyoming. Eh, these guys are taking too long. Yeah, they're taking a long time down here, too. No, what are they? Uh, no. Just if we have to. Eh, I'll just peace out now. They don't accept this. There you go. There you go. Actually, we have 20. Let's get some more states. Something lower than 20. Something lower than 20. Indiana, how much is that worth? Too much. Uh, Utah? 20! Um, oh, come on now. Oh, darn it. I, we gotta get Cuba, so. 
Um, that we can save the odds for the last next time. Cultural Union. The failure to achieve this goal will lose a lot of prestige. Well, they'll accept this. Or do Utah first. That's a little better. Hmm. Just do that one for now. Yeah, I guess I should have really paid attention to more prestige, but whatever. Slavery, 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 slavery. My bad, but, you know, it is what it is. Cool. And now we can begin the Golden Circle, as someone did say in the comments, this takes a while to do. Before the war, an organization of visionary southern gentlemen calling themselves the Knights of the Golden Circle proposed that the southern states should set their sights on southward expansion to embrace the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. If we take their proposal seriously, we could someday control a great ring of prosperous slaveholding land center on Cuba, a Golden Circle. For now, we can begin to extend our rule outwards from Texas and Cuba. Lose priority, some more prestige, and gain some infamy? So be it. That's not good. Alright, so what's next then? Anything else? Continue the Golden Circle. It is time to complete control of the Gulf of Mexico and begin reaching into Central America. This step will bring it into increased conflict with other great powers, but who are they to stand in the way of Dixie's destiny? We lose even more. Holy crap. If we can purchase Cuba and Puerto Rico, we just need a lot more money. Spain, once the greatest colonial power in the world, is now barely second rate, and has fallen into our sphere of influence, literally. Now we can make a deal with them to alleviate their overseas burdens and purchase Cuba and Puerto Rico from them for a pricey sum. That's actually not too bad. Organize Nigeria, that'd be pretty good too. But we gotta wait for that. Because we wanna go to war with Mexico next, so. This was quite a devastating war for all of us, so. Let's just go over here and combine them all and make, make up our armies. And you guys come down to Richmond. And you are actually not too bad. We'll send you to Mexico too. Sorry, but you gotta go. Well, I have a lot of militancy here. Wow, we're gonna have a lot of rebels. Hey, that's okay when we get a better school system. Uh, get some more. Yeah, assimilate even harder. They're demobilizing. That's good. Still consider group. Oh, boy. Pasta. That's good. Ooh. Oh, what's going on here, guys? Who are you fighting? France. I, I'm i sorry, Germany. There you go. Easy peasy. Please don't lose Germany. I want to see Germany form and use him as an ally, but we'll see. For now, we're gonna keep the the money spending high. Mission Mexico. Um, what is what's going on here? Crisis. Uh, I don't want to get involved. I really don't want to get involved. Sure, Chile. Sure. New capital, the Golden Circle. While Richmond has long been the capital of the Confederation, many of us believe the Golden Circle deserves a more fitting capital. Shall we move it to the jewel of the South, New Orleans, or to the original proposed capital of the Knights of the Golden Circle, Havana? Or perhaps we should stay in Richmond. Move to the capital of Havana. You get more immigrant attraction and population growth. Or New Orleans. I like New Orleans, actually, quite a bit. I really love Richmond, though, but it's not on the seas, and we don't get any bonuses here, so keep keeping that there is okay. New Orleans itself is not bad. Havana, though. Havana? We could probably throw in quite a few more Dixie soldiers and Yankees. Who? We could assimilate a Spanish which could have been Carabino. Nice. That'd be really good. Ooh, Havana. I kind of want New Orleans because technically it's still part of us down here. But a Golden Circle would make more sense. Let's go to Havana. That's fine. Beautiful. Nice. And the Spanish people are converting. How do they have such a big industry still? Well, after we burned it, most of it to the ground. I do not understand. It's alright, though. We took what we needed from them. And that's the most important thing. Electricity is almost done, which would be great. And before we get too far, let's take a look here. Uh, let's see. Maryland, intellectuals. Not too bad. Go and become bureaucrats, because they definitely could use some bureaucrats right there. Virginia. I don't know. What percentage of the population do you need to be capitalist? What do you think is a good population percentage? Please let me know in the comments below. What do you guys normally use? 3.5%. We're almost done there. Let's see. Actually, how's Louisiana doing? Uh, yeah, it's not good enough. They're getting close. Nice. That's not done yet. That is surprising, actually. Cool. And how are we doing over here? Well, not great. We need one Hussar and three cannons. One Hussar. Uh, 
And three cannons, I think I said? Three cannons, i There you go, not bad. Hey, better supply limits, good. Uh, next, culture, revolution, and counter-revolution. Ah, I was going to do that one anyways. I think at this point we could probably do this one, so that'd be good. We're making a lot of money now. Now that's nice. We've got third most prestigious country in the world. And let's pay off our loans. Kaboom! We're making a ton of money, but we're, let's make let's get all the money we need first. Maybe we can buy Puerto Rico, which would be very good. And then we'll lower our tariffs. Because that would be probably really good for us to do as well. And you guys... You're looking pretty good. Not too bad. Tucson's not too bad either. Pretty good. Uh, come to San Diego. San Diego. That's San Antonio. From Cuisine Pasta. Nice. Not bad. Not too shabby. And how much do we need? How much money do we need for this decision? Women's suffrage. Not today. Uh, slavery propaganda. Lose consciousness. Uh, we could. We lose some prestige. We get some more infamy. Is that really worth it? Slavery propaganda. You get less popular. Ooh, less militancy. It could be really good to get. Actually, let's do. Ooh, let's do that one. Why not? That should help suppress this a little bit more. Immigration rights. Local matter. Worst. Uh, no, we're okay. Consciousness is not very high though. They're very militant here, but not very high consciousness. All right, continue the golden circle. But is it a quarter of a million? Bragging rights. Nice. Oh wait. Now we're fifth in the world for prestige. That's fine. We'll beat up Mexico. We'll get more prestige that way. Uh, so I am here. Let's get some better relations. Out of an empire. <sighs> fine. Just leave me alone. Hey, I'm going to war with Mexico now. Nice. Increase relations for the future and do that too. Good. All right. Not too bad. Not too great. Spend this a little bit more so our guys really want to become soldiers. And how are we doing with this? Are our guys being made yet? We need definitely some more artillery, which is not good. It's been a little more than brilliant. Rapid City Electrified. Mother, mother. Have you seen the lights on Main Street? They're putting new lights in the lampposts. They say they're powered by electricity. Electricity. And the form of street lights have arrived in Rapid City. This new type of lighting illuminates our cities in ways that have hereto only been dreamt of, increasing the efficiency and productivity of local industry as well as the local quality of life. Great. Now you're done. Thank goodness. We're still trying to get more bureaucrats, man. Now we can go to war whenever we want. Uh, they have a score of 101, which is not bad, actually, for them. That's actually not too bad. Our ships are really bad, though. So let's see what we can do. Oh, acquire American Corps. Oh, which one? Actually, are these all cores? They're... Uh, well, Sonora is not. That's interesting. So we didn't have to just find them at all. Well... I'm glad I know that now. There's that one. Acquire state. You know what? Let's acquire Sonora as a state first. Because we can't get Sonora from these other stuff. So. We might as well. And then we can add on the other stuff later on too. So. That's. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of war score though. How much is that one? Yeah, all these are super large. God dang it. Mmm. Hmm. We're going to do this several times, so... Sonora first. Uh, Carlos Spain will not accept. A lot of people will accept, though. Huh. Guatemala will not accept. That is interesting. Good. If they don't want to join us, so be it. That's their fault. That's their problem. Cool. And head on down to there. And head on down to there. And then head on down to not there. You guys can come down here, though. Nope, you didn't want to come in, so what do you expect? Success of Mexicans are, Mexicans are dead. Uh, actually, can you go right there? Can you go right here, maybe? Find their arms and beat them up, probably. Nope. Yeah, attacking, real bad idea. But they have almost no organization. We lost a lot of guys. That was way too many guys for me to really feel good about that one. Intervene. Civil violence in Nebraska? Oh, well, things happen. You know, things happen. There you go. That's better. Alright, they're still sieging us down as well. So be it. So be it. Cultural enrichments. Yes, please. Nice. Go, yep, good. Go to Reynosa. Good. Go, go, go. Hmm. Portugal. No. Betrayer, Portugal. 
how much... Ooh, hmm. 2v1, we might not still be able to do very well over here. Let's do something like that. They'll come into our lands as well, but that's fine for now. We're still making a bigger army for ourselves, too, so... Alright, so we're still making... Why are we not making any artillery? Artillery's... A little more. It's a little more. Not too much more, but a little more. Max that out. Good. There he goes, well. These guys really don't care about their home to homeland. And again, neither do we, I guess. Alright, Mexicans, you want to try that? Try it again, boy. Try it again. When they're up there, they're over here too, which is fine. Go in there. Just bait them in. Oh, we have a lot of money now, but we probably have to be at peace. So let's lower our terrace a little bit more. There you go. Morelos? Something like that? Kill them off. That's good. Okay, less conservative support. Nice. Laredo, good. We took out Albuquerque, so be it. But we're taking out a lot of them too, so. Let them come into here. Hang on, hang on. Let them come in. There you go. Ah, we caught him. Nice. We cut off 28,000 there. That's actually really good. And where are they headed to? How many men are left? 10,000? That's not bad. Paral. Good. There we go. Nice. Realism. Oh, uh, we could probably use that. We could do a lot of stuff here, too. Uh, steel steamers. Let's start working some cruisers and battleships. That'll be nice. That should be really good to get. And, oh, look at all this stuff. The Mycenae Excavations of Secrets of Greece. Well, Oh wait, oh we get more infamy, so be it. Greece permits. The Greeks have, re have agreed that we may excavate Mycenae. Hurrah! And encourage war. For support for the war is weak. With low effort, we could start a propaganda campaign to convince them otherwise. No, we're okay. Create a civilization. Mesopotamia, the land of Babylonia, Akkadia, and Assyria are still a notable area for archaeological discoveries. Instead of the old methods of tomb raiding or the largely non-professional excavations in Egypt, it is time for a modern expedition with new methods and scientific standards. Nice. Archaeological Museum. Now that we have excavation rights for our expedition, we should establish a museum in our capital for our artifacts. Nice. Really good. And now we got that other national spirit, in which actually you guys are not, well, that's a capital, but it's still a colony state. Oh, we're attacking here. That's not good. Made it pretty. Don't worry about that. Please go right ahead. It's fine. There you go, nice. That's what we want to see. Keep one here too. Nice. And we got and we got Sonora completely under our control now. That's good. Nope. Secret police and anti egalitarianism. Nice. Nope. You betrayed us, so go figure. Letter campaign? So I ask you, sisters, write, write to your congressman, your local MP, your grandmother, someone, anyone. And the royal will not come around to the message that women, considered as political animals, are equal to men in every relevant aspect, then the message we will have to come around to it. The Confederate suffragette movement has initiated a letter campaign with ambitious goal of reaching every MP with a thousand letters every year, until free male suffrage is passed, and women are given the right to vote. The campaign has had a fair amount of effect already. I predict that the reform agenda will gain a fair amount of traction in the upper house, a fair amount of traction among the populace. Uh, let's do upper house first. We might actually get some reforms done. Slavery? Nope. Mm, you guys should still be able to win on defense anyway, so... Nope. Nope. A's. X-rays are good for more pop growth. Good. Good. Keep an eye on that just in case. And you guys can come over to here, too. Nice. Now they're dropping like flies. Very good, very good, very good. Um, is Chihuahua possible to get commercial retailers? Let's see. Anything else around here? Um, 
These all cost so much. Yeah, we gotta do another one after this. My bad, we went to war with the wrong state, but whatever. Eh, I'm still learning, so. Military coup d'etat. Nice. War exhaustion, better military hospitals as well. Losing a lot of money, but whatever. Now, Mexico, you're gonna pay up. I'm gonna read Nosa if you can. Nope, we're not coming in. Nope, girl from Is Bismarck. Unfortunate. Nope, and Austria Hungary. Nice. Uh, actually, if we did this, you might actually still be able to win, maybe. Yep, there you Oh, God, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. I think you guys are over here, too, then. I'm gonna send all you guys over here, too. Head on in if you can. The beginning, the start of the battle will be pretty bad for us, but that's alright. Anything else? Abolition of slavery? Nope. Head on down here, because this is the last major army I think Mexico has, so once we kill them off, we'll be the undisputed masters of North America, almost. Because we got these guys to kill off, too. And now we can quickly go through this process. There you go. Nice. Good, 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 good. Uh, send you guys over there. I'll send you guys over here too. Actually, go to El Paso first. That was, that's fine. Nice. Good. Less of that. Good, good, good. Right now, up. Okay, well, that's all we can get, right? There's nothing else we can really do because... Oh, they're only 11th in the world. Yeah, we're 97% because these just cost too much. That sucks so much. And I don't want to call, call that in, so... Um, there you go. Well, I got the wrong state. My bad. But that just means we can prepare for next time. We'll go to war with America and Mexico again. And this time we'll actually take the course that we really do need. And anything else? Purchase Cuba and Costa Rica. Or Cuba and Pu Puerto Rico. Not Costa Rica, not yet. Nice. The Serenica Plan. His Majesty's government view with favor the establishment in Serenica of a national home for the Jews, and will use the best endeavors to facilitate the achievement of this object. Since we exert a significant influence in Serenica, we can issue a declaration expressing our favorable attitude towards the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people there. Cool. Alright, what else? Anything else? Continue the Golden Circle. Up next, we still need to go to war with these other guys, so... Minoan Excavation. Okay, that's kind of cool as well. We need social alienation. Awesome. But I think that's it for now. So, I've learned quite a bit in this episode, and at least in terms of, uh, well, knowing what we need to do. So, up next time, what we'll do, we'll take more of the Western states and just keep beating the crap out of America. And we'll beat out, beat out Mexico. We'll take out Chihuahua. We'll take out Nuevo Leon. And I think Durango as well. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow, and I do would recommend asking you guys what are the things that we need to know as we continue pushing onto the campaign and as we get into the 1890s and the 1900s. Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.